Live from ABC7, David Odo, Ellen Leva, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rob Fukazaki Sports. As Eyewitness News at 5 in high definition continues. I made it through Iraq without a scratch, and then I came home, and about nine months later, uh, I was lying in a hospital bed paralyzed. An Iraqi war veteran hangs on to the hope he will walk again, but can a controversial stem cell therapy in Mexico get him back on his feet? Welcome back, I'm David Ono. And I'm, Al I'm Ellen Leva. Before we get to that story, we have an update on a breaking story we've been talking about all afternoon. Reggie the Alligator, who's been calling Lake Machado in Harbor City his home for the last few years, now has a brand new home, and that's the L.A. Zoo. This afternoon, he was spotted sunning himself on the lake shore, and he was captured by a group of L.A. firefighters and a park ranger. They loaded right, Reggie onto opening. a truck for a trip out. to the L.A. Zoo in Griffith Park. And a short time ago, he was unloaded and hauled into a zoo building where he could be quarantined oh, for a time before going on public display. And we are expecting a news conference with a zoo vet at about 6 p.m. and we will bring it to you live when that happens. Now back to our stem cell story. Stem cell therapy is the next frontier in medicine and scientists hope to someday use stem cells as the ultimate body repair kit, growing new tissue and replacing damaged organs. But the science isn't moving fast enough for some people. They are traveling out of the U.S. to get stem cell injections that are illegal here. Some claim the injections can cure everything from autism to Alzheimer's and paralysis. Health specialist Denise DeDore is here with the story of one Iraqi war veteran on a mission to walk again. Denise. 29-year-old Greg Minow was a lieutenant in the 101st Airborne Division of the Army. He survived his tour of duty in Iraq without a scratch. But within months of his homecoming, Greg was paralyzed. His T6 and T7 vertebra crushed. As one neurosurgeon put it, crushed to a paste. The bike flipped over, and when I landed, the bike landed on me. It felt weird. It felt kind of like my body was dead. I think that's when it hit me that I could very possibly be paralyzed. I remember being scared. I was scared. Scared, yes. Defeated, no. Greg Minow lost the use of his legs that day, but gained a new mission in life. Ultimately, I'd like to, you know, learn to walk again. Doctors in the U.S. told Greg that was impossible. They said he'd never walk again. So Greg turned elsewhere. Tijuana, Mexico. A short trip from Greg's San Diego area home. He literally rolls across the border into a country with fewer regulations over medical treatment, but greater hope for those who believe in this type of alternative treatment. Don Gregorio Mino. My buddy and my good friend. Uh, yeah. And Dr. So Fernando Ramirez Del Rio offered Greg another option, stem cell injections. Combined with spinal decompression surgery and intense physical therapy, Dr. Ramirez says the three-pronged treatment could get Greg back on his feet. So you really think he's going to walk again? Yes. Yes. Dr. Ramirez claims to have 25 formerly paralyzed patients walking again. This video was provided by his clinic. Tuesday morning, I stood out by the bars for the, twice for the first time in nearly three years. Dr. Ramirez tells us the stem cells he'll inject into Greg's spinal cord are human umbilical cord stem cells, not the controversial yet promising human embryonic stem cells many experts believe could one day transform medicine. We asked where he gets the stem cells, but his answers kept changing. Research medical centers in the United States. We have the great thing from the FDA that they will check on the quality of the cells. But the FDA told us that's not true. On the day of Greg's surgery, we asked Dr. Ramirez again. No, they are uh, coming from the Mexican research, Mexican research laboratories. Minutes before he's wheeled into surgery, Greg remains optimistic. It's amazing because uh, this this little vial could uh, maybe one day make me let me walk again. Leading stem cell researchers on the U.S. side of the border have their doubts, to say the least. A lot of patients are being fooled. Dr. Evan Snyder of the Burnham Institute in La Jolla is at the forefront of U.S. stem cell research. He used embryonic stem cells to coax paralyzed lab rats back on their feet. And this is heart tissue. Yes, it's beating. Also grown by Dr. Snyder from embryonic stem cells. But he says it's a big leap from lab animals and petri dishes to humans. I think in taking cells and injecting it into the spinal cord is immensely dangerous. 
Dr. Snyder also points out that umbilical cord stem cells are by definition blood stem cells. And experts agree blood stem cells cannot give rise to neural stem cells, the kind Greg would need to possibly heal his injury. The stem cells from umbilical cord can cure uncurable diseases. Everything from ALS to autism, diabetes and strokes. Dr. Ramirez claims his cells can do it all. I think in all respects this is wrong. At best deceptive and at worst absolutely dangerous. But it's a risk Greg is willing to take. I'm not nervous, I'm, I'm anxious. <laughs> Hopefully in six months I'll be uh, reporting that I'll be walking again. And it's been four months now since Greg's stem cell injection and surgery. This morning he told us he's regained quite a bit of sensation, about two inches below the level of his injury. Greg is doing some walking, but it's with the help of braces and crutches. And keep in mind, there is no way to know how much of Greg's progress is from the stem cells and how much can be attributed to the spinal cord decompression surgery. We're going to keep you updated on the story. Log on to our website at abc7.com to track Greg's progress online. Denise Dore, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Ellen and David, back to you. Interesting story, Denise. Thank you. There's an alarm in Sacramento after that big tanker truck accident on the Oakland Free.